Dave Palumbo here with another RX Muscle rant. You know what really annoys me? Rubber plates at the gym. You know what I'm talking about, guys? You must know. All these gyms now have rubber plates. They originally came from CrossFit, which in CrossFit I can understand. Because in CrossFit, they pick stuff up and they throw it on the ground and it has to bounce. You don't want to break the weights. It's part of the whole shtick that they do over there at CrossFit. They, they clean and jerk things and they throw them over the head and then they go to the next event. But now gyms have, have bought these plates. And I really believe it's because they want people to think that they're stronger than they really are. We live in this society where everyone has got to be a champion. No losers, right? So... If you put 405 onto a uh, onto a bar and you're about to squat it, it looks like you're squatting 800 pounds. Matter of fact, you can't even fit another plate. Look at this guy. You cannot fit another plate on this bar. Um, you would think this guy is is lifting, you know, the world record in the squat. And once again, it, it's it's for the mentality of the person lifting. It has not, nothing. There's no safety factor because you know what the truth is. You can take a regular thin plate, which is about a quarter of the size of that 45-pound plate, and you can just put a little rubber rim around it, and it would be the same exact thing. If it fell on the floor, it would bounce, right? It's not going to break. You don't need to, to make it you know, three or four times the, the length, okay, the width, I should say, of the plate. They do that purposely, once again, because they want people to think they're lifting a lot of weight. And once again, this was designed for CrossFit. So even the 10-pounders, the 10-pounders are as, as big as, as a 45, but they're like really thin. And once again, it was done so they can bounce. But this is not, should not be in a regular gym. There's no reason for that. I want metal plates. I want to lift metal plates because if I want to lift more than 405, I want it to fit on the bar. So why are these gyms doing this? I don't know. And it just irritates me. And it's one of the many things that irritates me nowadays. And I say, my father told me as you get older, you're going to be irritated by a lot of things. But that irritates me because, you know, Crunch Fitness, where I train, is, is there are a lot of bodybuilders who train there. You know, hardcore bodybuilders who lift real weights. And there's really no reason to be having rubber weights in the gym. Now, if you want to put it into like a section where they do like classes and stuff like that, and you want to have you know rubber dumbbells, I have no problem with that. Even but if you ever look and if you've ever lifted in a gym where they have rubber dumbbells, like it's like a rubberized, um, they're no bigger than the regular ones. So I don't know why these plates have to be so freaking big. Um, but for some reason, that's what these gyms like, and it goes back to the fact that. Everyone wants to think that they're lifting a lot of weight and that they're they're moving, you know, impressive weights. And, and and I think it really goes back to social media because it looks way more impressive if that guy posted that video on his social media of him squatting plates out to the end of the of the bar than it would if the plates only took up this much space on the bar. The bottom line is anyone who works out knows 405 is 405. That's an impressive squat, right? But at the end of the day, if you put plates that look like 45 pounds but are actually 10 pounds and you put four of those on there, it's really only going to be 40 pounds on each side, right? And that's going to make you look like you're lifting a lot more and you're really not. So once again, it goes back to the idea that we live in a society where everyone's a champion, no one's a loser, and everyone wants to be the same. And you know what? That ain't me. And I know that you guys out there... You want to excel. You want to be better than the norm. You want to be better than the average. And you want to be able to be encouraged to be better than the average. So it's important that you have to do things that are superlative for you. So if you put six 45 pounds on there, plates on that bar, that's impressive. And that's what the other people who are watching you in the gym, the young guys coming up, should aspire to be. Not aspire to be a CrossFitter in a bodybuilding gym. I'm sorry it bothers me. If you don't like it, too bad. That's my rant for the day. Get rid of the rubber plates. Give me my iron back. Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle rant.